I was married to him for 27 years, all right? I'm not married to him anymore. <laughs> so freaking awesome. <laughs> Sister Wives' latest update, Mary's bizarre twist leads to surprising reveal. Christine says Janelle stays with Cody because she has nothing as he admits he have forced a polygamy. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mary's bizarre twist leads to surprising reveal. Sister Wives star Mary Brown handles herself just fine when a fan offers up a disparaging comment over something they've seen on the TLC show. She seems to ignore those folks in the audience who reprimand her for sticking around her shared husband. This season, her best friend, Jen Sullivan, joined her in a few episodes. Now a new train of thought emerges from some fans, and Jen quickly puts an end to it. Sister Wives, is Mary Brown dating? Now that Mary Brown made it very clear that her marriage to Cody Brown is over, fans want to know if she's dating. Believe it or not, it sounds like she is. Those photos of her that showed up online over the past few years with men have all been pictures of her and her friends. One man in several of her photos is a close friend of Mary's. She is also friends with this man's husband as well. So, while headlines promised this is the sister wife celebrity's new love interest, that wasn't the case. Now all of a sudden, fans see Mary laughing and having a ball with Jen, and the rumors spin. On a recent Fridays with Friends, the online show Mary and Jen do together, one fan commented on something that caught Jen's eye. The fan saw them looking happy together, which is usually the case when hanging out with your best buddy. But instead, they suggested that the two were dating. Mary set the record straight previously. A Sister Wives fan suggesting that Mary Brown and Jen Sullivan are romantically involved is nothing new. Mary Brown addressed this previously both on Sister Wives and her online show. She's made it very clear that Jen has a husband, one whom this Sister Wives star considers a good friend as well. During their Friday gig, both Mary and Jen read the fans' comments while airing live. Then, they also answer any appropriate questions coming from the online audience. Mary Brown drops a disclaimer before each show that you won't find any scoop on Sister Wives. Due to her contract, Sister Wives spoilers are out of the question. But, this is how the comment about Mary and Jen dating each other came to the duo. So, when Mary's best friend saw it, she immediately jumped on it. She said she's only dating her husband, once again shooting down that rumor. But this is when she shares a little more info that Sister Wives fans were happy to hear. Sister Wives, don't count her out yet. In a bizarre twist, Jen stands her ground about being a married woman, but she adds something more. Since this was all about Mary Brown and the prospect of her dating, what her best friend said next was like an added scoop. Not only did this best friend say that Mary Brown was dating, but Jen shared that her husband is in the process of setting her up with someone. Then Jen looks forward to double dating with Mary. Many Sister Wives fans are thrilled for Mary because Jen is just like family to her. And from what fans have seen so far from her best pal, she has the Sister Wives stars back. So, it looks like this best friend has been a great influence on Mary Brown especially when it comes to getting her out of the doldrums after everything she's gone through in the past few years, both on and off the TLC series. Next update, Christine says Janelle stays with Cody because she has nothing as he admits he have forced a polygamy. Sunday's A Sister Wives episode saw the two Brown family matriarchs reflecting on Janelle's current turmoil with Cody, who is also looking back on how he navigated polygamy. The topic of navigating life after separation appeared to be on everyone's minds on this week's Sister Wives episode. After all Brown family heads, but Mary Brown virtually gathered to attend Michael T. and Tony Padron's baby gender reveal party, Christine Brown hosted a going-away dinner for Isabel Brown ahead of her return to North Carolina for college. But instead of the focus being on Isbeal's new academic year, Tony, 29, switched the tables to discuss how Christine, 51, was navigating post-divorce dating life. I think dating sounds like fun. 
It's been frustrating, she admitted to her family. But it's not like I go out that much, too, you know? And how do I be public like that? Tony then suggested she use a fake name on a dating app and a vibe it out, before revealing her true identity. And then, if you ever like someone, you can be like, oh, by the way, that's me over there. My name is Christine, he said. Aspen Thompson's husband Mitch Thompson then said he's concerned about the type of people you're finding. While she laughed off everyone's suggestions, Christine, who later expressed dissatisfaction with the topic at hand in a confessional, explained to the group, I guess I'm just not in much of a hurry. I like the idea of being in a romantic, loving relationship and all that. But I also really like how my life is right now. As the episode progressed, Cody reflected on the current state of his love life as he's now adjusting to monogamy with Robin Brown, despite not having put an official end to his marriages with Mary, 52, and Janelle Brown. Cody, 54, admitted he doesn't really feel like a polygamist anymore. It's been 10 months since I've been to Janelle's house. I don't even know what's going on hardly half the time with Mary's life, he told the cameras. Now, I've got all this time that Robin and I, we've got sort of this special life together. I mean, it's been a challenge in one way, but you know what? I do have some time to spend with my friends. Cody was then shown dealing with a challenging car-related project alongside his pal Brian, involving the pair struggling to fit a sports vehicle into a tight truck. The Brown family patriarch related that challenge to his experiences with polygamy, telling the cameras, I've spent most of my life as this polygamist trying to constantly fit square pegs into round holes. I've forced things to fit rather than going, is this a fit? I've had to learn through my experiences in plural marriage that the square peg is not a good idea to pound into the round hole. Discussions of the past and future continued as Janelle, 54, joined Christine on a road trip to visit the Utah residents' brothers. Janelle, who noted how she hadn't heard from a Cody in a while, detailed the positives of not having her longtime spouse around. I have a very busy life. I love going to bed at night and reading my book and turning out the light when I want to turn it out, she told Christine. The dogs are on the bed with me because he never could stand that. I get to do my thing, you know? But Janelle, who no longer considers herself to be married and is not interested in dating at this time, still harbored a lot of conflicting feelings about fully separating from Cody. For me, I don't want to break my covenant without knowing God's completely cool with it. I don't know. Don't know how that happens. But I'm waiting till I know, she shared in a confessional, later noting that polygamist husbands are supposed to grow beyond themselves and that while Cody initially really tried, he eventually found someone who thought like him, and was more like him. And, it was easy to be with her, referencing Robin, 45. By the time Christine and Janelle arrived and got settled at Christine's younger brother's home, the group discussed the a harm of polygamy toward women and the importance of marriage legality. I think, and this will never happen, but all you got to do is give those women a legal marriage because they can take and they can divorce him and take part of his assets," Janelle said to the group. Like, honestly, if they were all legally married to him, he'd really have to toe the line. Following the comments made by Janelle, who also noted in a confessional it would be healthier if polygamist women and men had options legally, Christine said in response that, it would be awesome to have the legal marriage because then you are protected, given her decision to leave her spiritual marriage to Cody. Noting how a legal divorce would benefit her own situation, Janelle said back, I'm sitting here because my finances are all so mishmashed right now with everybody's that I'm having to fight hard to get my estate separated. If I could do anything, I would be out there, like, knocking on the door saying get yourself financially independent because then you have choices. Christine was able to sell her house and leave and start over again and do something different, Janelle added separately to the cameras. I have no idea if I'm even going to get anything." Christine then reflected deeper on what Janelle was getting at and what this meant for her former sister-wife going forward, saying, one of the reasons she's still with Cody is because of this, because she has nothing in her name. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.